Also, we are looking at Comcast. Shares of cable giant Comcast higher following an earnings beat this morning for the first quarter. Overall revenue was dinged a bit, but still the numbers were better than expected. You're seeing Comcast perform quite well today. Uh, that stock surging double digits up 10% on the day. Some of that growth in streaming. U.S. paid Peacock subscribers jumped more than 60% year over year. So strong showing on the streaming side there. Yeah, at theme, Comcast. theme park strong. Yep. New record of adjusted EBITDA for a first quarter. Uh, Brian Roberts did as you would expect comment on the departure of Jeff, Jeff Shell, calling it a tough moment mm -hmm. for the company. No word about a potential replacement or if they even will, but it sounds like if they will, it'll come from in-house. The big win there, you got to talk about that movie, Super Mario Brothers. It has yes. been a huge performer for yeah. Universal. They are over the $900 million mark globally. And if you can believe this, on their way, not just towards over a billion, which will happen in the next 24 to 48 hours, potentially becoming the highest grossing animated film of all time at this pace, which is really yeah. hard to put your, wrap your mind around. When you think about Frozen, when you think I about know. Lion King, when you think about iconic the movies, I know Super Mario is going to be in there. I, you it know? may top them all. Yes, it may. People want to go back to the movies. Uh, people are ready to just have that experience again. And Comcast, the beneficiary of people returning and forced to just things outside. We want to be outside, outside has been open and now people are just more excited about that. I haven't seen it yet and I know like it even sounds interesting to me. I mean, my kid saw it once. He said he'd see it again. So I guess mommy's got a movie in, in store. <laughs> I'll check that one out. Now the questions ahead. What happens with Hulu? That has been the question for quite some time with Comcast between they and Disney. Mm -hmm. No real indication about what's going to happen there. And the other big one is they expect to be a player in the NBA talks. There are, of course, the favorites, ESPN uh, and TNT, Turner Sports, WBD, hanging on as the existing rights holders. But NBC wants back into this game. It's expected to fetch between 50 and 75 billion per year for NBA rights. Can Comcast get in that league? Do they have that type of spending? Is Peacock starting to get close to revenue positive? A lot of questions for whomever might replace Jeff Shell or if it just stays in-house. Right, I think yep. we got some... We some... got some breaking earnings coming in right now, right?